In this video, I will be doing Simplicity S8861 View C. I have all my pieces here cut out and ready to be sewn. I marked all of my dots and I marked a fold line in one of these pieces. Step one is to stitch center front seam of front 12 sections. Here's 12. We're going to do right sides together. Matching notches. For every step, we're, we will be sewing half inch seam allowance unless otherwise stated. Looking at the picture, before you do the second part, it shows that the seam is pressed open towards the middle. this step we have to hem half of an inch I'm gonna sew very close to the edge now I inserted this clip here so you could see that I'm using a zipper foot to stitch pretty close to the edge I have stitched a little bit too close to the raw edge and I would have stitched it this way because this is the bobbin. For step two, cut a piece of elastic as follows, medium size 8 inches. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic and insert it through. I think I'll use a little one. So I'm going to stitch on the edge right here. Once you've pulled your elastic all the way through, stitch the same way you stitched the other side. Next step says to stitch back yoke 13 to back 14 matching notches.
here's 14, here's 13. Matching notches. So, It's looking a little interesting. To finish this step, similar to step one, we're going to press the seam open. I'm going to have a good press before I do that. This piece came out a bit strange, but since we or sewing with half of, half of an inch seam allowance, it, it's not going to make any difference. Here's my ribbon. It, yours should be a lot bigger than mine. And it says, Pin ribbon to back, placing upper edge along seam. So I'm going to grab my ribbon and it doesn't seem you put it over, you put it right underneath it, like so. so you're going to pin your, pin your ribbon down and sew on both sides. So here's my seam. Let's see if I can zoom in. Here's my seam. You put your ribbon right underneath it. like this and you sew on both both sides of your ribbon since my ribbon is too small to be pinned down in my opinion I used wonder tape to hold it in place and it is a temporary glue I'm trying to show you if you can see the glue you can't it comes off in the washing machine so I'm going to now sew at the top and bottom of the ribbon In this clip, I'm using a zipper foot to stitch close to the edge. The next step says to stitch front and back at shoulder seams and then front to back at side seams. Here's my front. For I think this is where like the dog's stomach is. Here is the back of the dog. And I'm going to align my notches. Which is hard to see after you place the ribbon. So try your best to align it. If anything, it should match here if your notches don't match. It should be pretty close. Just like mine. Right sides together. Let's 
Do you want to hear the edge? And then, and then that side seams, notice how if it's flat, it doesn't, it doesn't align, right? Can you see? It's like, it's a little crooked, and that is perfectly fine. We're just going to move it over. This is to give it just the round space. So just move it over, and the same thing with up here. Notice how I have to pull a little bit. It's not perfectly fat, flat, and that is, that's the right, that is supposed to happen. Your dog isn't flat, right? It has some curve to it. And so this is kind of creating that space here where the dog will fill it in. So again, I'm at doing matching notches on the side. And you're going to sew, I'm going to assume, up to the dot. So my dots don't actually match fully. As you can see, I have a dot here and a dot here. But I think it'll be okay. It'll be just close enough. If anything, maybe you can pull it just a bit. So my dots will align. So I pulled it right now. Let's see, they are on top of each other now, which is fine. So I will probably be have to, having to pull it gently, just like right now, when I'm sewing it. Which is okay. It's probably because of the elastic. We're going to do this for both sides. When I, I set up to the large dot, as shown in the picture, a little bit be, a little bit after, but it's okay. I match my notches on both sides. And so even if you're, you know, it's still not length, it's still, it's still, it's not laying flat still, but that's okay. It is actually a little bit better now though. Let me actually stretch this out. But that's okay. That's how, it's, that's how the garment is supposed to be. For step six, it says to pin your ribbon to the back, placing upper edge along shoulder seam. And here in this clip, I'm prepping for this step. It does not say to press open the seams it in the middle but I'm doing it anyway to keep it consistent so for this clip I decided to show you how to do the wonder tape in case you've never done that before so I did the same exact process for step four so here is my wonder tape and I'm just flattening out my fabric I think I want to go get my scissors. Okay, so I'm placing the wonder tape over the ribbon as shown in the instructions. And this tape has glue on both sides. So I'm going to place this tape and then I'm now going to remove the backing I think I struggled right here to remove it a little bit. Can't do it. Let's see. Got it. So after taking the backing of the bias tape, or sorry, the wonder tape, here's my ribbon. I'm gonna place the ribbon right on top of that. And then just to secure the ribbon, I've been told to iron it to really let the glue stick to what you're gluing it on. That's what I'm doing here. And this should be secure enough to sew it. Um, 
I did kind of bring it a little bit further than here, but I think it'll be okay. Mm, I don't think you'll be able to tell. So I did the same thing on this side. I think it'll be okay. I mean, far away, I don't think you'll be able to see it. We are now going to be on step 7. It says, pin neckband to neck edge of coat matching centers front and placing small dots at shoulder. And we gotta stretch the band to fit. It is number piece number 15. And it looks identical, so... Okay, we can start by putting notches together, and it looks like it's going to go like this, right? So if you have a, yeah, because if I put it this way, it's going to be upside down, so make sure that you know, your collar, you want it to go like this, right? So when you pin it, make sure, if you have a pattern like mine, that's only one way nap, you're going to have the right way and then pin it right sides together so that it's the opposite way. That way when you bring it up and you fold it over, it's going to go the right way. Unless you want it to go the opposite way, that's okay too. So let's start by pinning the first notch together. And we're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. Now this dot is supposed to align with this seam, the one that it's pressed center. So you could start by bringing it over and see how we're going to have to stretch it. So if you cut the piece out with so that the arrow was perpendicular to your fabric, then it should it should stretch just fine, just enough. See? If you if you that's assuming it's only one, usually fabric's like a one-way stretch, isn't it? So if you have a two-way stretch, you should be fine if you didn't have the arrow going perpendicular. Or sorry, parallel. See, my fabric's only one-way stretch. And it's enough. It's still, I since I cut it the right way, I have enough stretch, just enough to bring this together. You can also lay it flat. And you see how it's, it may be a little weird here, but it's flat where you're going to sew it, and that's usually, that's what matters the most. So, I need one more here. See? Okay. Let's bring this on over here. Wow, that's a big collar. Hopefully. I feel like my piece is too small, but I'm going to have to stretch a good amount then. Wow, this needle's very dull. Okay. So, same process. I'm going to match my notches. first, then come here to the seam at the shoulders, so if I put this needle through, it's close to the edge, it's close to the seam, that's good enough. And same thing, we're going to stretch it and pin it in place. One thing I... Oh yeah, it is right. Make sure that when you pin it, you pin it flat like this. So all of these three seams are open. Keep it consistent.
All right, so after, oh wow, I was not consistent with my pins, I thought I was. Well, now I'm going to sew it and be sure to stretch it while you're sewing. And I haven't mentioned the allowance because it's all been the same half an inch. So we're going to sew with half an inch seam allowance. I do have a small dart here. Let's take a look at it. It's pretty noticeable. But I'm just going to leave it. I don't think it's that impactful that I'm going to want to, especially it's on the bottom. I think it'll be okay. To finish this step, I'm going to iron it. It says to press the band downwards. Okay, so here's the band I just we just sewed. You're going to press it so that this seam, it goes that way. Next step is to grab your underlap, number 16, and we're going to fold it in half, right sides together. Before I do that, I'm going to give it a light, light, I'm going to just iron it with all my steam. And I think if I, when I fold it, I'm also going to press it. We're matching notches, of course. And I'm going to press it. To continue step 8, you're going to stitch um, half an inch seam here at the very bottom. This is a flat side. And here at the curved side, follow the curve at half an inch. If you're kind of new, well you should be marking all of your seams, right? If you don't feel confident about moving it over mark it all the way through and follow the line. To finish step 8 you have to trim your seams on both of the sides you just stitched. I just did it the length of the scissors I'm wearing using the pinking shears. Those are about a quarter inch away. A quarter inch wide so I'm s cutting this at a quarter inch away. Does that make sense? <laughs> now for num step 9 you turn the underlap. And you baste it. I'm gonna press it first, can I? Yeah, it says to press first. <laughs> I'm gonna use my point turner to get a nice edge here. Same with this side. We're going to press this down at our machine, or sorry, at our iron. To do a basting stitch, you change your length to the to the longest, or the highest, I don't know. Since I'm going to base, since it's a basting stitch, I'm not going to base it at half an inch. I'm just going to baste it at where my foot ends, because we're going to sew it at half an inch later, and I don't back stitch. You could baste it at half of an inch, but it'll be easier, I think, to take off the stitches later. So this is the left side. Here's our dot. And it's gonna has to match with the dot from the neck.
So if I place a needle, see. So here's like the really long piece, and here is this piece. I'm going to pin this just a little bit after. Four and right here. So you have the long piece coming out of the neck. And now we're going to baste again from the edge of this curve up to the small dot, up to the large dot. So just like, and I'm going to baste this time exactly at half of an inch. Here I am at the large dot underneath my foot and I'm at half of an inch seam allowance and I'm still basting. I'm going to take this pin out so I don't back stitch. Up until the edge. And that's it. Here's the seam I just basted. And that was step 10. So you don't have anything on the very long side. It looks like now we're going to need our zipper. This is the zipper I bought. It's a it says lightweight separating zipper and it's 16 inches. I think you're supposed to give it a light press before you use it. I'm not going to do that. This is the left side of my fabric. And we want this little stopper thingy, these things, to be right underneath the dot. So I'm going to start by pinning it over here. And then it wants you to turn this out. Like so. I don't really recommend pinning this way. This is the best way to pin. So now we're gonna pin the rest of the zipper to the edge of our left side. My dog's borking. I'm gonna probably repin this. Because it actually might be hard to repin it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first paste this and then I'll come back to here. Okay. Here is my... I'm going to start a little bit below the edge first. start around here and go to 5 eighths of an inch. No, I still have the same problem. Look it. Damn, that sucks. Okay, so I have to pin my zipper a quarter inch away from the edge in order to sew it. In order to baste the zipper up 5 eighths of an inch. Because when you baste the left side, you are basting the right side of the zipper. And if I were to baste it with the zipper matching the raw edge, I would be basting the left side of the zipper and it won't work. 
So this, if your zipper is big, thick enough, then you wouldn't have a problem. But I, I noticed that. My foot is at five eighths of an inch away. And we are going to be basting, so it's no back stitch. And I skipped the thick part right now. I'm going to do that last, going the other way. So I'm going to be stitching downward right now at five eighths of an inch. So now that I'm at the edge, I'm going to flip this over and then bring this here. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time now I'm going down. Here. I don't know how to use a zipper, but I guess <laughs> that's so funny. Raise it here just a bit. And back stitching, right? step is to place the zipper on the other side. I'm going to actually turn this over. And same thing. Okay. So here's my large doll. I need to transfer it. Don't I saw my marker around here? I'm going to transfer my large dot first. Alright. And then, which one is it face down? Is this face down or is this face down? They look the same, so I'm going to come back over here and zip it. Because I don't know which way is face down, face up. I think this is face down. Okay, so this is face down. So stitch zipper in place, five eighths of an inch. Okay. So this is my back. And then here's the stopper. It's like a little dot. Again, right underneath the stopper. gonna baste it first to make sure that it's gonna be aligned with the other one and then I'll stitch it and I'm doing the same thing with having the zipper placed a quarter inch away from the edge okay and I'm gonna baste it again first before I stitch it in place just to make sure that it's aligned right with the other one. So here we are. Five eighths of an inch away. I'm gonna bring it a little bit upwards because I see that there's like something there, so. Now before I stitch it for sure in place, I just, I just want to make sure that it's aligned well enough with this side. And I'm going to check that by putting the zipper together. So 
so look at it's just a little bit off as you can see by the actually no it's not I, th I think it's okay so now I'm gonna actually stitch it in place Do this side so this side we just not the one with the I'm gonna go back over this stitch right now like this and place it can I go like this though just like this stitch it in place I don't know, it doesn't say that do yet okay so I'm just gonna stitch right here again now we are on step 13 it says to turn underlap over edge of zipper at the fold line so here I can show you that I went over it again went over my basted stitch alright so we're just gonna turn this over it matches our notches pin it in place do I stitch at half of an inch? It's a stitch to small dot along seam line, back stitching at small dot to reinforce. So I would assume at half of an inch. Which it should be fine because we sewed this at 5 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to pin all of this. If I could find my pins. Oh, so it has a reason to its, to its madness. You should not catch your zipper at all because 5 eighths of an inch is obviously bigger than half of an inch. Quick math. So, should be absolutely no problem with the zipper. We're going to stitch it, a normal stitch, not a basic stitch anymore. From the folded edge. I'm keeping my zipper but just in case and I'm, ha I'm at half inch, half of an inch right now. Don't forget to back stitch. And I started a little bit before the fold line as well. Just to make sure you, I caught it. I have to pull it just a bit here because it is too thick on the machine. But other than that, it's good. Up to the dot, of course. And back stitch. Okay, so let's. This is what I just sewed on. And notice how we didn't get near, well you can't really tell on this side, we didn't get near the zipper at all, see? So this is how it's looking, we turn it right side out, it's looking a little weird but I looked at ahead and you have to top stitch so we can fix this later so this is how it should look 